Hi there front hitch owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at Kurt's hitch mount license plate relocation bracket. Now you may be wondering why well, I've got a license plate on my vehicle. Why do I need a license plate relocation bracket? Well that really just depends on what your intentions are. Maybe you're wanting to put a, an aftermarket bumper on the front and that may eliminate your license plate bracket but you've got a front mount hitch already on there so you could easily mount it up to that. Or maybe you're wanting to add a brush guard and that may run across your license plate here and obstruct it. So to keep you legal, we can relocate it further down below here. And depending on your vehicle, if you do install a front mount hitch, in a lot of cases, the bracket may be in the way. So you're gonna to have to remove your original license plate anyway for that installation. Now we didn't have to do that here on this vehicle, but on many of your trucks out there, you do have to. It's designed to fit in standard two inch by two inch receivers and uses a 5 8 inch hitch pin and clip to secure it. One doesn't come included with the hitch, but if you need a hitch pin and clip, you can get one at eachhelly.com here. This not only works on our front hitch, but it'll also work in your rear hitch if it's also a 2 inch by 2 inch opening. And we're now here at the back of a truck with it slid into the receiver here at the back. And again, this is really if you just need to get your license plate visible, if you've got any accessories here at the back, maybe you've got some stuff strapped down you've got your tailgate removed and things might be hanging over where your plate normally is, we can easily just slide this in here with our plate on it and drop it down below those loads. When you're ready to install your plate mount, there are two different hitch pin holes so you can set the depth that you want. Simply slide it into your receiver and line up the holes in your relocation plate with the ones in your hitch. So we could have it extend out if we have accessories that run up here on top that may obstruct it or keep it from going all the way back or if it's not an issue if this is going to sit completely below our accessories then we can tuck it in even further to bring it closer to the truck just to help increase the appearance of it so it's not sticking out so much it can also be installed in the rise position where the majority of it goes up whichever one works best for your application the plate is designed to work with any standard license plate. If we hold it up there, you can see that the slotted holes on our license plate line up with the slotted holes on the plate mount here. The one thing that I did notice, though, is that the holes here on the plate mount are significantly larger than what you would have on your license plate. And if you were trying to use just the regular hardware that you typically would use, you were going to need to use some fender washers or else that hardware is simply just going to pull through because this is like a typical hardware that you would use and you can see here I can pass it straight through. So we'll be using these fender washers on the back side to prevent that from happening. Now the hardware doesn't come included with your mounting bracket but you can pick some up at your local hardware store. We're just going to be using some washers with small bolts to run it through. On the back side we're going to use that larger fender washer and then we're going to secure it with a nylon locking nut. You could also use just a regular nut with a lock washer if you have that type of hardware. We can then tighten our hardware down. We're going to be using an 11 millimeter wrench for our nut. That's probably the most common size. We're also going to center our plate here in the front when we go to tighten it down. And then we're just going to zip that tight. Once it is snug we're just going to stop there there's no reason to over tighten it that's just going to warp your license plate now there are four sets of holes on your bracket so you could put two on the top and bottom but really you only need to secure it with two whether you choose it to be on the top or the bottom it doesn't really matter which one and that'll hold it securely in place to help match your vehicle it features a black powder coat finish and that also protects the solid steel construction from any rust or corrosion, ensuring long-lasting operation. And that completes our look at Kurt's hitch-mounted license plate relocation bracket.